Ah, look at how pretty the, the water drops are on my pansies. Look at you guys. Look at all of you. I hope you don't drown. It's been raining. How are you guys doing over here? Looks like the fava beans are absolutely thrilled with life. Oh my gosh, look at this. Look at all this growth right here. Oh, that's great. What is this? Oh, just a little, little piece of dirt. And then, I don't know. I don't know if we'll make it. This little, this little spring pea, he's been nibbled on. Look at that. Look at that. We've had some nibbles. Oh my goodness, I didn't expect you to get nibbled. Meanwhile, this one hasn't been nibbled, so that's kind of interesting. <laughs> but hello everybody! It is a another rainy, rainy morning here. Uh, totally normal for what we get in the Appalachian Mountains during spring and summer because it is a temperate rainforest. Um, I, I love to talk about that because I didn't understand what that meant until I moved here and it just rains and 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 rains. <laughs> and not only that, but there's so many ferns and there's so many mushrooms once the rain starts ebbing up a little bit. But I love it. I love it. I mean, look at this tree. Look at how absolutely like vibrant this tree is with the water touching the bark. You can see how beautifully dark the the like bark is, and then you can see the really 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 prettiness of our tree, and then like there's a slack line over there. I still want to try that thing. I swear it's not mine though, so you know you don't want to be rude and just climb all over someone's slack line. I might sneak out at night to try it one day. Maybe I'll try when it's not raining, and then let's walk into our garden zone. So darling and I have. A pretty hard date now, uh, end of July, for when we're moving. And I'm looking around. How's my squash? Doing pretty good. I can't tell if it's growing. Maybe it's doing all the growing underground, and I just can't see. How's this area? Seems like it's doing okay. I'm not going to see these beets if they're going to if they're going to sprout. I'm not going to see them for a while. <laughs> the beets are something that take like uh like you can see things. Those are not the beets. Those are not the beets. Those are who knows what. Maybe you're a beet. I doubt it. Like I'm going to let them grow for a while cuz I don't know what's beet and what's weed and then I'll yank them out. Like I might come over here and study up all the little things we have growing over here. And if it looks like these guys, I'll yank it out. <laughs> and I think that you can see how the lettuce we planted over here, interestingly enough, oh look, it's a friend. Hello, sir. Are you taking good care of my garden? Because I highly appreciate that. Look at you. Look how long he is. As long as my hand, almost. Hi, little one. Aren't you so cool? I love coming outside and seeing wildlife like this. Like a bird woke me up at 6 this morning because it was yelling outside of my tree. Or outside in the tree outside the window. Look at you. He's like, it's getting a little wet down there. Oh, so cute. But actually right here and right here is where I had lettuce planted. And as you can see, there's just one sad broken leaf left. So somebody ate it. And I'll have to keep an eye on that, but nobody ate this one. And we have, uh, like, this is just a sad, pathetic lettuce as well. Uh, seedy, like, or um, stringy lettuce, leggy, leggy lettuce that sprouts too fast it, uh, and doesn't grow strong, just doesn't do well. So, I, I, honestly, I have never successfully grown lettuce, so that's a kind of a learning experience for me. But we have lettuce seeds and carrot seeds like from that rock scattered all the way over here. So we're just going to have to be patient and see which ones manage to make it. Now the things I can grow well though are the beans. So check out those fava beans. Fava beans seem to be doing good. Straight, or the uh, sweet beans seem to be doing good. Sweet peas, I can't remember. Sugar snap peas, there we go. Those fava beans seem to be doing good so far. The thing that has done the best and been the hardiest are the fava beans that a viewer sent me. A really awesome viewer sent me. And yeah, there's a few more. Bing! 
fava bean bean or like a pea so I need to go through and check on those guys how's this guy doing seems to be doing pretty good mm -hmm, mm -hmm. this is our one of our patty pan squash I'm gonna give him a little rock to lean on there you go buddy so you're off the ground and then I, I have this birdhouse that I guess I'm just going to keep because it's a good birdhouse. Maybe I'll put it up in the tree that the screaming 6 a.m. bird was in. I actually like climbing around in the rain like this. And how's going on over here? <gasps> Somebody has eaten my squash! No! <laughs> sure enough. Somebody came and ate my squash. Ah, My heirloom squash. Probably the rabbit I saw back here. Darling's right, I need to put cat food back here to attract the cat to keep away the rabbit. <laughs> but yeah, so it's kind of interesting. Um, honestly, I'm not upset about those kinds of things. Because my whole goal is to just kind of clean this area up and get more, like I keep saying, ground cover and wildflowers put in. So it can benefit the wildlife. Because, um, yeah, Darling and I have our date now for when we're going to be moving. And it's kind of scary because we'll be leaving the mountains. He's moving back home. I'm moving to his home, <laughs> like his hometown, for the first time. And I'll miss the mountains a lot. But I think I won't miss, like, uh, I didn't expect to get seasonal affective disorder. Like, that was totally unexpected when it was really dark. And uh, it stays really cold, like, pretty much from end of October all the way through now like April, mid-April. It's really cold and dark and um, gray, and I did not do very well with that. A seasonal affective disorder is like when you don't get enough of a certain type of UV from the sun. And even when I would go outside on the under freezing days, I just wasn't getting enough. And even the only, the only thing that really managed to perk me up was when I got on depression medicine and had light therapy <laughs> with some special lights. So apparently I just don't do well at this altitude, and that's actually something that's pretty common, um, if you're going to get it, that you don't do well at certain higher altitudes in the mountains, and apparently I'm one of those people, <laughs> and the rain is like landing on my nose, it's so fun. But I am going to miss the greenery here, however North Carolina is a lot more green than anywhere that I really noticed or lived in in Missouri, and it's not as hot as Missouri in the summer. So I'm pretty happy to be here, and I'm happy because I'll be with him. And there's natural history museums and a lot of places I could volunteer um, on, like, parks and trails. Ironically, there's a lot more, like, wildlife areas where we're moving than there are here because there's more development and money. Um, and even though we're in the literal mountains, the beautiful mountains right now, like, you can't build a lot here. And so the money is really hard to get going as like, uh, like if you guys have played City Skylines, you can't build the fantastic botanical gardens or the big parks unless you have the tax revenue, and that's not here. So it is there where we're moving because it's a really wealthy uh, area that thankfully I found a cheaper apartment at. I was a little worried there for a while because <laughs> we need a cheaper apartment to live in. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm feeling pretty good about it now. And I was a little anxious for a couple days because I'm really tired of moving but at the same time I know how flexible you need to be in life. I've moved like I keep saying every year for the last six years now and maybe more than that and I'm really tired of moving. I'm really tired of not having my roots settled down and I bet it will still be a while before I really have my roots in the ground but I'm gonna learn to appreciate as much of wherever I am for the moment I'm there as possible. And right now that means standing out in the rain, feeling the Appalachian mountain rain hit my face, standing in my secret garden, which to most people would look like a bunch of junk, but I've made it special, so to me it's a beautiful garden. <laughs> All right, well, I'm gonna get inside and I will see you guys in a little bit. Uh, there's more work to get done today. What do I have to do today? record and mostly I'm just trying to kind of go by the seat of my pants lately um, just to get in touch with myself again so I'm really grateful that I have April to do that and then I'm gonna get so busy I have a goal of reaching 2,000 videos on the main channel 
uh, before <laughs> before we move. So it's still 416 more videos if I remember correctly. So gotta get back in and get to work, but I will catch you guys up in a minute. And um, I think we'll plant some zinnia seeds today. It wouldn't be a bad idea since it's already raining <laughs> to go ahead and tuck some zinnia seeds over in the garden. So we'll see about putting some flower seeds out in the garden. So I'll see you guys in just a bit. Bye bye. Oh, isn't it pretty and green? I love the green. Good morning, guys. Good morning. Hello, everyone. It is 8.30 now. Yeah, I was outside like it's 6 in the morning, maybe 7 when we were doing that first little video. But it is it is 8.30, and as soon as I hear the very first bird go, twee, then that's when I start turning on their lights. The reason they have such hugely bright lights is because these are the UV lights that have the special, um, special level of uh, basically radiation from the light bulb, just like the sun has radiation from it that allows them to process all of the minerals in their body properly and that's actually these are the same lights that I sat under for my light therapy that helped quite a bit look hi how are you doing pumpkin so this is like my little I, I don't know what to call her just yet because I had I call her pumpkin she has a russet top on her head but ghoulians are supposed to have like completely one color heads like this one right here persimmon Persimmon, how are you today? Is that so? Is that how you're feeling? Oh, look, Pumpkin just landed next to you. And there's Ossii Jr., the red-headed son of Persimmon and Ossii. He's like, oh my gosh, everyone's flying. Panic! Panic! And there's Pumpkin again. I've got more birds. Oh, there's Strawberry. She's up by the light behind Ossii Jr. And there's Loganberry. And there's Starburst. And here's Ossii. How you doing, buddy? probably time for your mite treatment again. You're looking a little bit peckish. I don't like it. Or he could be getting, no, I don't know, mite treatment. So mites are something that a lot of Gouldian finches have. And there's blueberry. They're still getting used to each other, as you can tell. Normally they're not fussing like that, but I just moved the light back on top of their cage. So they're like, holy day, something changed. Weird, freak out, freak out. <laughs> but yeah, um, mites are like the common cold in finches. A lot of them will have mites normally, and you just have to keep them medicated every few months to make sure that they stay very healthy and keep the vitamins and nutrition high. So I'll be sure to start their vitamin routine. Persimmon's like, I see I everything got weird again. I don't know if I want to be in here. But she hasn't laid any eggs since I put her in there. So she has to stay in here for a while longer, at least a few months, uh, to restore her calcium. Who's singing? Who is singing? Is it is it Loganberry? Oh yeah, it's Loganberry. He's hiding down back there. See? He's looking at us. He's like, oh. So Loganberry was singing, but yeah, so our seeds, um, it's warm enough now where I'm probably going to keep them outside so they don't get so leggy. They got so leggy because there was light, but not enough light. So I'm going to start putting the little greenhouses with their little tops outside so that they can grow out there instead. And let's see. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> the reason I was making a little video of saying good morning to the birds is that I'm waiting for Sims 3 to load so I can re record some North Star Legacy and Sims 3 takes forever to load. Not as bad as Sims 2 though. And I have some surprises to record today. People sent me some birthday gifts uh, through The Sims. So I got real excited. I'm going to make a special video about it. And I will see you guys in a bit. Okay. What's up guys? Yeah, good morning. Oh, panic. You guys just can never get used to this camera. You guys, a special package just arrived! I'm so excited! You have no idea how much I've been wanting a new one, and it finally came, and I flipped the box upside down so you can't see our address, but I have a new present for myself, which was, it was really hard for me to spend so much money on it, even though it was just $50, but that's a lot of money in my family. That's like, make it or break it sort of money. But, um... I actually have a problem where I'm cold all the time. I've lost 100 pounds in the last couple of years. And what no one told me about losing weight is that when you've been like at a higher weight for a long time and then you start losing weight, you're cold. 
forever after that, like all the time. I'm freezing cold, but I, I don't like clothes that are really tight on me. I, I like no sleeves actually and like capris those are my favorite clothes to wear i like sandals i guess that's very hawaiian my mom always used to joke that my uncle uh was the same way because he would wear sandals in the middle of a blizzard in missouri he would wear sandals but i really get cold all the time and i just can't tolerate it and so i've been living for a long time now with this little space heater darling got uh to keep the birds okay hi guys during winter, he got that for you, didn't he? And for us, because we were freezing our bahukas off. But we have a little space heater. But I feel guilty over the amount of energy it uses, even though it's the most efficient space heater Amazon had. And it makes noise. And I have to keep it on nearly all the time when I record, because I'm freezing cold, even when it's muggy outside. Especially my feet. Um, I just, no one warned me. You lose lots of weight, you freeze to death. Oh, so even though, I, and I have more weight to lose, um, not because I have a number in my head, but just because I want to be really fit and be able to go hiking and climb mountains and interact with animals, and you kind of need to be able to move and slip between things to do that. So that's my goal. But <laughs> I have a new heated throw. I used my old one so much, my old blue one so much that it actually died on me. Uh, in fact, no, this is Darling's old blue one. And then I have an old green one upstairs, and both are dead now because I used them for so long and so often. They're the sunbeam, both of them were, and it's going to be a lifesaver. It won't make any noise when I am recording, which has been kind of annoying to have the heater in the background, but I'm just too cold without it, even though it's like 65 degrees, or 75, excuse me, degrees in the house right now. I'm way too cold <laughs> all the time. It's, it's kind of abnormal, I know. But I'm so excited. Look, it's green. It'll go with my little green bed. I was just making a nest to take a nap. I've just finished recording a couple hours of Sims 3. Let's see. And I was getting ready. Let me open it up. Come to me, beautiful, warm blanket of warmth. So excited to be warm again. But I was trying to uh, rest a little bit because I've been up because of that noisy bird that was screaming at the window at like 6 in the morning. I have basically only had about 5 hours of sleep. So I was going to take a nap and then I got a notice that a package had arrived at our mailbox and oh it's so soft. Oh my gosh it's so soft. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh. <laughs> and it's going to keep me warm without making any noise. And I'll keep just my feet warm instead of heating the whole room, which is great because then the rest of the room's too hot, but my feet are too cold. <laughs> and it's just silly. Oh my gosh, but I'm so excited. Oh, so here's my new nest piece. I might have to try it out, but I actually have videos to process, which are doing, that's what's going on on my computer right now. My computer's being eaten up by the processing that it is doing. And I actually do have some, some various tasks. Whoops, sorry guys. Some various tasks that I need to do. I need to go out and pick up my snail mail. I haven't done that for almost a month and a half now because things have just been wonky donkey. And I need to go run some errands and it's just like, but... I have a nest and a blanket, but you know, you gotta, you gotta have variety in your life. That's what I'm always saying in Farmville. Doing a lot of little random tasks can really invigorate the brain, get it pumping, make it move, and think of new things to do. So I'm gonna get back to work, but I just wanted to celebrate my new heat blanket, and it's green. Yes. Ooh, sounds like there's something going on outside. I hope everyone's okay, but oh my gosh, you guys. So I just got back from popping off to the mail, which I haven't done in like a month because it's the anxiety that I have kind of goes in spurts like this. And I've got my medication. I was actually off to pick up my medication for it too. And now that I'm outside, I'm trying to consciously be outside for at least two to three hours a day. I'm allowing myself that and I'm so much better. Like we're just meant to be outside. We're meant to be interacting with the environment. Which if you'll notice, the way that I live happily and healthily is by having a lot of nature. Everywhere you look, there's plants, there's greenery, there's nature. These singing birds. Look and Barry, what are you singing for us? 
and things are great. So <laughs> that's, I, I haven't been outside a lot when, like I said, it was winter and dark and cold and scary. And, uh, well, it wasn't scary. It was just dark and boring and there was no greenery. But I haven't picked up my mail because I've been kind of having a hard time and then knowing that we're moving and then we had some relationship bumps, which is just part of being in a relationship. You grow and you learn. And then it's just been, and I got really sick out of the blue. Um, I actually still have the rash from an iron allergy from some supplements I was trying to take that's going down. It was kind of cool. I was tracking the size. I was like, wow, so I'm allergic to this level of sulfate. Let's keep this like tracked. So I had fun with it. But I just got back from the mail. And look at this! Look at this! Oh my gosh, there's so much mail! It's just so awesome! So I've got my Grow Journey package. Um, I'm not, let me see if I can cover it up safely. My Grow Journey package! Which arrived a few days ago. And so Grow Journey is the monthly spe seed special. So I need to do an unboxing of this. I've got my new hard drive for my laptop because my current one is about to die. It's a miracle I can still make videos. If I turn off my laptop, I have to hold it upside down and shake it while holding the power button to get it to turn on. And when Darling found out I was doing that, he went, what? <laughs> and told me I had to order a new hard drive right away. New hard drive in here for my laptop. And then I've got all this mail! I haven't checked my mail since my birthday. And look at this. Look at this. Look at this. It sounds like there's seeds. It sounds like there's all sorts of cool things. So I'm going to do an unboxing video today of the Girl Journey. And it's snail mail that I'll probably put out Sunday because that's a good day for snail mail because people have time to like watch and catch up and I don't want anyone to miss me opening their things. Wow, I might have to do two because this is a lot of stuff. I also got a random uh, plant nursery guide that I, I thought was pretty cool and I was sort of flipping through it until I found like some of their pictures are so clearly photoshopped of these plants. I mean, it's ridiculous. Let me see if I can find one. No, not there. Like, this one's kind of photoshopped, this creeping flux, um, but not badly. I mean, there's some where you can straight up see, like, the brush lines on some of the plants where they're like, it's a rare mythical three-in-one spliced genome plant thingy-doodle. So I actually kind of want to flip through this with you guys and be like, look at the Pride of Ireland. It's a green iris. That's so cool. Look at this silver pink pussy willow. Awesome. Ooh, look at that hosta. You know, like that. So I was going to do that, and then I, oh, look at this one. I want some of these guys, the Thailand giant elephant ears, and this dahlia is beautiful. But where is it? There was, it was so funny, I was going to show you guys, because it just made me burst out laughing when I found it. Oh, I guess I can't find it like off the top of my head. When we look through this, we'll, we will find it, the fake plant. The horman, like horrendously fake plant that just made me burst out laughing, because I was like, are you guys seriously trying to sell that as like what it actually looks like? You can't get a picture of it, huh? Like that to me, if you can't get a picture grown of your plant, that means you haven't grown it in my opinion. That means that like you probably don't know its quality. So that's sort of that's sort of my hardline opinion uh, of how the trees and how, how you need to be good. Ah, there it is. <laughs> the three in one flowering crab. Look at this. That is so clearly not how it actually looks because you can see where they've gone through and they've just colored it the same shade everywhere there's no natural picture no natural shading of the tree like look at this one this is a picture of a real tree it's darker on bottom lighter on top where the sun's hitting it it's not you know this is not a real tree three in one flowering crab tree an eye catching three colored rainbow on one beautiful flowering crab tree i don't believe you so yeah, I got that in the mail. Uh, a few days ago, I got my vegan slow cooking book in the mail. For two or just for you? And I want to start trying recipes out of it, so I might start doing some videos on that. And then we've also got, this is a little solar moon that my cousin made me, so that was really sweet. So I was just happy to like, holy moly, I've got a lot of mail. So I need to eat and kind of recharge, maybe take a nap with the other thing that arrived in the mail, my beautiful, beautiful pillow, thresher pillow, what the heck, you're a blanket. A plush, I was trying to say plush blanket. Oh my gosh, it's so soft. Oh, that's amazing. But I might take a quick nap um, and then get back to work because it looks like my computer is awake and that means it's time to process videos. So I'll see you guys later. Oh my gosh, you guys, look at all this stuff. You're getting a sneak peek at a bounty 
of stunningly amazing gifts and I'm just blown away I mean it's so hard to explain like I, I'm not one of those people who expects to get things so when I do get things I'm like why and then I realize the why is because people are happy and inspired and love our world and our community and the realization that you made something like that to me just like it's like a, a lightning bolt that goes straight down my body, just straight down, not zigzag, but like boom. And it makes me go, this is important. <laughs> what I do is important. I, and, and it's really surreal because from my point of view, I sit at that desk and talk to my birds all day while I, I tell stories in a microphone and reply to as many comments as I can. And so it's really stunning to get so many letters where people go, I've been really depressed, I've struggled with self-harm, I've struggled with anxiety, adults, uh, young kids, teenagers, I get the whole age range. Um, and to realize what you do is that important to people is really humbling. But I don't want to sit here and just be like, wow, it really is humbling, it just really speaks to me, you know, man? No, because <laughs> I want to be able to express to you guys how grateful I am and how happy I am to get this stuff, that yes, I love it, it's so exciting to see your creations and, and to reciprocate, reciprocate the, the artwork and the, the imagination and all of it, and how much it really does fuel me to make everything on the channel even more important, even more informational, even more filled with story and kindness and biology facts. And I thought about it while I was looking at all this a minute ago and it hit me that the reason it doesn't feel overwhelming is because I think one of the big appeals of our community is that I sincerely am so grateful to every single one of you and I sincerely want every single one of you to find what it is that gives you joy and curiosity and passion in life and be able to embrace that and hold on to it no matter what happens in your life, no matter who tries to knock you away from that sense of security, that only the thing that gives you the greatest sense of awareness and joy and like you're in the present moment and you love what you do, I want you guys to be able to find that too. And I think that's what makes my channel so easy for me. Not just that I love nature and, and plants and the outdoors, I actually want to go on a walk in just a minute because it's beautiful now that the rain has stopped. Um, but because I really want, it took me years to find that core. And once you find that core of something you're passionate about, and it doesn't have to be activist passionate, I'm passionate about going up to trees that have moss on them and admiring the moss. And the moment I stopped thinking that was silly or weird or bothered other people when we're together was the moment I realized a piece of my true self, and that piece slowly became more and more exposed over time. And interestingly enough, through doing this channel, through standing up for that funky, passionate girl who loves moss and talks to her birds and things like that, it's amazing what happens when you just nurture that place inside of yourself and how secure and happy you can feel. And, and as I look at this, I realize and how much you can change the world in ways that to you feel so easy and surreal but have such a tremendous effect on so many people. I think that's why my channel is on a level easy for me because I truly can speak from the heart with my entire entire confidence. Every confident piece of me can speak from the heart about how much I care about all of you and I mean it so sincerely that that's what makes this community building easy in a way. But I do have to get back to recording some videos. <laughs> there are some videos due tonight that I haven't recorded yet because I got caught up in having so much fun with Sims 3. Um, and I do need to make sure that I'm active and taking care of my body. I haven't been very active the last few days. And I'm trying to like make myself realize that going on that four mile walk run is just as important as like taking any kind of medicine. It is a form of medicine, a very vital, basic form of medicine. So I'm going to try to go out and listen to a podcast and go run for a little while. I say run, I mean like da -da 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 for a few steps and go, <sighs> I'm so 
running is my least favorite thing to do. I'm flat-footed, and so it really hurts my ankles um, very badly to run, especially on pavement. So I normally only run in some well-worn sandals on grass, because otherwise it hurts so bad. I had to wear a brace for a year in high school because my ankles are very, um, very weak, and running on pavement hurts them. But running's really good for you, so it's like a catch-22. So I'll figure it out and probably talk about that in the future. But thank you guys for joining me for another leafy day. It has been amazing and full of so many surprises. And I'm so happy I got to share them with you guys. So I'm going to go on my walk now. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day and find that passion you're looking for. Bye, guys. <laughs> Say bye, birdies. Oh, jeez, drama queens.